The giant motorcycle is so big that you can hardly recognize the person on the seat. It's the largest drivable motorcycle in the world. We're looking for the owner. In the US, everything is bigger, wider and higher. In the heart of Texas, in Conroe, we found the XXL bike. It's six times larger than a normal motorcycle. Car mogul Tony Gullo is the proud owner. It's hard to believe, but he's never driven it himself. Oh, that's pretty awesome, isn't it? Pretty awesome. Today, he wants to ride the massive bike for the first time, along with us. However, the giant bike was not built by an American. It was built by this Italian. Hi, I'm Fabio Reggiani and I won the Guinness World Record of 2014 for building the tallest rideable motorbike. Fabio had the idea when he saw the American monster bike Big Dream a few years ago. When I saw the, the other record order, I decided to, to build a, a bike bigger than that and uh, more nice. Fabio Reggiani turned the Easy Rider into a High Rider. For seven months, he and a team made up of friends and relatives built the chopper in Bacco di Bibiano, Italy. The parts are those of a normal 70s chopper, an extremely long frame, a drop-shaped tank and high handlebars. Because of their enormous size, many parts are one of a kind and made by hand. Otherwise, the Italian did not fiddle about, but work his fingers to the bone. The tires are very big and huge, and we found it uh, from um, Earth Mover. It was very hard to install the engine. That engine is uh, from normal vehicle, is a 5.7 liter with uh, 280 horsepower. So it's very strong to move that uh, giant monster. To make it into the Guinness Book of Records, the monster bike was accurately measured. And Fabio had to prove that his XXL motorcycle could actually be driven by riding it for a distance of 100 meters. An event that caused a stir in Italy. When uh, the people say that uh, motorbike in the first time was uh, like, wow, what's that? <laughs> Many people say to me, you're crazy, man. To build the motorcycle, Fabio and his team based themselves on a small motorcycle model. We did a very right proportion. So you, if, you, if you see the motorbike uh, uh, without any measure like cars or people, you, can, you can't find the, the proportion. The giant bike had a great advantage for airbrush artist Fabio. The bigger the bike is, the more space he has for his handmade airbrushed patterns. And we're better to sell the giant bike than in the motherland of the XXL concept, the USA. After a few words, they, they understand that I wasn't from the US, so they understand that I was Europe. Uh, so, are you the builder? Yes. Where are you from? I'm from Italy. Are you sure? Yes, of course. <laughs> Tony Gullo paid around $150,000 for the world's biggest motorcycle, and now the eye catcher attracts customers into one of his dealerships. In a normal garage, the giant doesn't fit anyway. It doesn't fit in a normal hangar either. I just recently had a custom-built trailer for it that's 36 feet long and uh, it has to go all the way down to the ground in order to transport it. The Mega Motorcycle has plenty to offer. The tank is made out of fiberglass, the gear shift is automatic, the seat is large enough for three people. The brakes were taken from a Porsche Cheyenne and the keys and design are one of a kind. But why did a 70-year-old man buy a motorcycle of such dimensions? Simple, because he can. Self-made millionaire Tony Gullo even owns his own museum that houses just about every dream car. A hundred million dollars parked around here. All that was missing was a huge motorcycle. His family doesn't mind his hobby at all. 
words. They thought I went crazy. <laughs> what, what was dad or grandpa doing with some, something of that magnitude? But they all enjoy it now. But he's never driven this five-ton monster. For us, he wants to hop on his giant bike for the first time today. Come on, Mike, let's get this big bad boy ready, all right? Airplane tires on the sides stabilize the motorcycle. Now we're curious to hear what it sounds like. The bike is controlled by a joystick. That much power has a catch. No sooner has it started than the XXL vehicle stops. We're going to have to get some gas. No wonder. The motorcycle needs a gallon for every mile. That's the equivalent of 235 litres of gasoline for every 100 kilometres. By the way, Tony is not allowed to drive it on a normal street. Not even in America. And was it worth it climbing onto the giant bike? Like nothing else. <laughs> the biggest motorcycle in the world doesn't go fast. But it doesn't have to. Because the speed is just right for its 70-year-old owner. <laughs> 